Welcome back to MonsterJam.com, the Advanced Auto Parts Monster Jam World Finals 13, presented by NGK Spark Plugs. Catching up with John Seasock, the Advanced Auto Parts Grinder. Racing portion here for you this weekend. And uh, you had a bunch of fans here earlier. And I'll tell you what, it was all about the fans. You were smiling more than they were. Oh, without a doubt. You know, we see on TV all the time how much the fans mean to us. That is by no means a cliche. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be out here. And that's the truth. And it shows it here, man. The fans come with gifts. Um, hugs, pictures, and stuff from over the years, and, and I mean, it's awesome to have that kind of following, and I, I thank God every day for it, man. Thank you guys so much for all of it. Let's get back to the racing portion here. Your first lap, actually your second lap, a tenth quicker than your first one last night in qualifying. You qualify 11th, uh, you know, mid-pack there, not bad. Um, we saw when you came over top of one of the jumps, the truck kind of took a weird set. Is the truck okay? Look, this truck is fantastic. We get the best crew in the world. Ed, Ed Mike is, was my crew chief 22 years ago back when I first got started in business. We're back together again this year. We've been having an awesome year. We've been winning a lot of races, a lot of freestyles all through the country, but now it's all about Vegas. You know, the, the great part about it here, that track changes every night. It changes every pass. And last night qualifying, it was awesome. You know, congratulations to Todd Duke being number one out there. That is fantastic. But all those numbers are out the window now. Now it's head-to-head. -head. It doesn't matter how, who has the fastest time. It's the first one that crosses that finish line. So it's, it's a game-on deal. At one time back in the day, if you got in the top eight, that's where you wanted to be because you had a couple, maybe one or two easy rounds. You got 24 of the best trucks here, and you got 24 of the best drivers here. Every race is a final race anywhere in the world. So I think it doesn't really matter. Actually, I'm kind of happy where I'm sitting in 11th spot. I get another extra practice round before that second round, and I think that's going to be an advantage. Let's hit one more thing about the track itself. Which lane do you like better? I won two world championships, and, and in both of those years, every race I won was won out of that left lane. In practice and last night, I was having a hard time getting off the start line and getting into the chicane on the left lane, and I know where I made my mistakes, but I was that was my fastest time ever was in the left lane. Um, the right lane felt more comfortable, but again, the left was good for me, and I know I had problems. So if I just kind of keep my head on straight, I think we got a good shot at taking this thing. How do you feel about the new lighting system here? It's a little bit different deal. The lighting system is awesome. You know, before it was done, what they did the best they could, stopwatches and, and uh, cameras and everything like that. Now, this is state of the art. There is no question. There's been races that were last night, 200 thousandths of a second. I mean, that, that's phenomenal. And that's what we need with these sports. That's what these fans deserve. They want to see real racing. They want to see just who's going to be the legitimate winner. That timing system is going to prove all that. John Seasock is ready to go here at the Advanced Auto Parts World Finals 13, presented by NGK Spark Plugs. He's in the Advanced Auto Parts grinder truck, and he's ready to roll here tonight. Number one.